Hi, this is Professor CC19, and today we're playing level 391 on our quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga, where we have 34 moves to collect 66 blue, 55 red, and 77 purple candies. But before we begin, I put out new videos almost every day, so if you like this video and you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content. Now on any level where we have to collect a large number of individual candy colors. I don't focus on those colors in particular. I focus on making as big an impact on the board as I can with every turn I take. That way we can get more candy cycling through on the board, more candy showing up from the top, so we can get enough to collect 55 red, 66 blue, 77 purple, however many that we may need. And one good way of creating chaos is using color bombs. And I see we have five color bombs on the bottom of the board set in marmalade. So I'm going to try and clear out this single layer thick frosting first so we can then access the color bombs. And it's also going to be helpful in taking out these ticking time bomb threats in the outer isolated columns. They're all set at 15. Now we used to need to collect red, blue, and yellow on this board. Slightly less, but still with six colors it was much more difficult. Right away I see this isn't very difficult, It's not, or not necessarily very difficult, this is only my first playthrough, but it's not very difficult to make specials. We only have five colors, and things seem to be coming fairly naturally. However, it is kind of difficult now to work in one specific section of the board. I think we might be able to make another color bomb with the orange, and there we go. Now my question here is, should I do a color bomb green stripe, or should I just take out an individual color? And I know color bomb green stripe will be the biggest impact move, but it might also send off my other color bombs prematurely. So I'm going to see here, this green goes horizontal, going from left to right, top to bottom. This goes vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical over here, horizontal, vertical. You know, I don't think it's going to hurt these color bombs on the bottom. I think this big impact move, color bomb stripe, is the best thing to do. All right, so it looks like it took out one of the color bombs, but it also took out most of my threats. Now I just need to take out all red, takes care of that threat at five, take out all blue, takes care of that threat at five, and we still have two color bombs on the board to help us with our collection. Let's see here. This threat is at eight. I see we can make a color bomb, uh, not a color bomb, but a wrapped with the purple, wrapped with the orange. See, the specials are coming fairly naturally on this board. And I'm going to see here, is color bomb orange wrapped the best thing to do? Even though it's not my target color, I still think it is because... I don't see any other way to get at this six. We don't have very much purple on the board. Plus, this is going to cycle through a ton of candy. So, we're going for it. Color bomb, wrapped candy combo. And it doesn't look like these uh, ticking time bomb dispensers are too bad. The bombs are still set at 15, and they come out fairly slowly. So now we need 19 blue, 14 red, and 23 purple. As you can see, the orders are being greatly reduced by these huge impact moves. We can set up for a wrapped candy with the purple, stripe with the red, continuing this process, slow and steady, but also uh, daring, I guess you could call it. Slow and steady at this point, I don't think we need as many huge moves because we're very close. We have all our red, we're very close to getting our blue, and same for the purple. So I'm not concerned about these threats, because if we complete our order first, we win. All right, so that's how we beat level 391. This was my first attempt. Specials seem to come fairly naturally on this board. Early on, focusing on the color bombs would be the priority. It takes out your threats, and it creates a lot of chaos. Try and cycle through as much as possible on this board so you get enough candy to show up, and you should be golden. If you found this video helpful to you, please subscribe. If you're stuck on any particular level of the game, please leave a comment below. I'll try and help you. And as always, thanks so much for watching.